everyone, and welcome to another Bacon Bits video. Today we'll be going over the files page, and specifically how to edit a file. Not every type of file can be edited in Bacon, so Bacon takes the liberty to show you which files can be edited from the column shown here. For today's demonstration, I'll be editing a Bacon agent file. This file is used to connect your endpoint to your server. This file that I have uploaded is for a different server, and I'm going to edit it so it matches mine. To start, we're going to click the Actions button at the end of the row here, and we're going to click Edit. From here, you can edit the name of the file. Below the name, you can create a tag to sort the file or add an existing tag you've already created. Further down here is the Notes option. The next box is the file type, which is the only box that you cannot edit from this view. Below that we have different line endings that we support, as well as the code styles that we support, as shown here. Underneath the code style dropdown, we actually have the block of text in the file that we want to edit. For this demonstration, we're going to be editing line 24 so that it matches our server's FQDN. This view is just like Notepad, you can just click into it and start typing away. We're going to change this to Release. And before we click Save, we're actually going to create a new tag so that we can sort by that from the previous page. You simply type the name that you want to use and click the first option to add. As you can see, Bacon has told you that the tag has successfully been created. From here, we're going to click Save. From this files page, we're actually going to search by that tag we just created. From here, we're going to click Edit again to view our changes. As you can see, our settings have been saved. From here, we're going to go back to the Files page and search by that tag again. Here, I will show you what you can actually do with the file once it is in the state that you desire. If you navigate to that Actions button again, it will give us a few options. From here, we can create a bundle. Think of it like a folder in Bacon that you can create to add several files to to deploy into one machine. From here you can download the edited file and it will be in its state that it is in Bacon. You can obviously remove the file from your repository. The deploy feature will send the file directly to the endpoint or group that you choose. The copy link feature is for our states and profiles feature to reference a file from the state. And the last option is save this version. That is specifically for our TPP, our third party packaging. And we'll save that for another video. That's it for today's demonstration. I hope you guys learned something, and I will see you next time.